Good morning. We're looking at some clouds, some rain coming down. You can see that dark sky here on our Corwin sky cam here in Fargo, right at the station. You can see I-94 at the bottom of the screen there. Traffic moving along just fine there, but in other spots, you may be having to turn on those windshield wipers and deal with some of that rain, even some thunderstorm activity. So here's a look at our radar, our visible satellite picture too. Anywhere where you see the darker colors in this black and white mode, that is where we've got clear skies and and dark earth showing here, or in the case of northern Minnesota, those dark trees uh, from the uh, pine trees there. Now, in the areas where we see a little more gray, that's where we've got grassy areas, or perhaps we're seeing some clouds moving through. So that gives you an idea of what we're looking at here. But let's zoom in on the radar and show you where we've got this broken line of showers. It stretches all the way from the Nelson County area back through right around the Mayville radar site east of Fargo Moorhead and back over into Lakes country. One little thunderstorm here moving along Highway 34. These are generally moving west to east, so right around that height of land area there. And then another area where we have some rain crossing over that uh, Highway 59 corridor there heading toward places like Callaway. And then zooming up north here, we've got a thunderstorm just south of Niagara here, uh, creating one little lightning bolt there, a little downpour. And then this is this one right here just south and west of Laramore. So again, a couple of showers and a couple of thunder showers making their way through. But then there are places where the sky is clear enough where it's just all blue up in the northern valley where we could see those darker areas. Now here's a look at our temperatures. We are into the 50s still in Mid Bemidji and in Detroit Lakes. Of course, we've got some rain in Detroit Lakes right now. And then there are places all the way up to 70. Gwinter's at 70, at 73 in Sisseton. Fargo at 62, 65 in Grand Forks. So a mild start to the afternoon. Here's that wind still with us, but it has been the reason we've warmed up. We're looking at wind out of the southeast or south gusting to 30 miles per hour in Grand Forks. So still blustery out there here as we head into the second part of the day. Now checking out your hour by hour planner. Again, we've got some of these areas of shower activity, some more cloud cover, more in that southern two thirds of the valley. Uh, that's all moving through. It'll continue to drift eastward into the afternoon. And you can see we're looking at a few more areas getting into the 70s by the time we're in the afternoon hours, more likely to be into the 60s up in the north and east. And then later on this evening, the rain shifts to the east. We start to see it depart into the uh, later hours tonight and we start clearing. We're looking at wind out of the southeast into the 20s around 9 o'clock, clearing skies here and temperatures that do start to dip. But thanks to that wind still staying strong and the warmer air that's in place, we're looking at temperatures staying milder overnight. So in the overnight hours here, we're watching our temperatures slide a bit, but we're still into the upper 40s to some low 50s again to start off your Friday. Now this area of cloud cover I think will be some high thin clouds moving in. I do think we've got a pretty good day in store for us on Friday with some sunshine on the way as well. Here's a look at that seven day planner warming on Friday back into some mid 70s in Fargo, so a little warmer everywhere. And we're also looking at hopefully skies clear enough to see some northern lights, some Aurora both Friday night and Saturday. There is that potential and Saturday may be the tougher day to uh, check that out because we do have a chance for some showers, some clouds hanging around uh, Saturday afternoon and evening. No, it's a big day for uh, NDSU alumni. It's the homecoming day, yep. homecoming game on Saturday. So we'll continue to bring you an updated forecast on what to expect on Saturday and yep. throughout the weekend to come. But mild is the word here for yeah, us exactly. this week. Yeah, my, and mild, you know, mid 70s, I think anybody We'll like that. Sure. I, I'm a big fan of the mid 70s. Yeah, Saturday, so. first day of October to be in the 70s. We're doing okay. You just reminded me that we're almost already done with September. <laughs> Lisa, thank you so 